Good morning, boomers. So, if you could not tell, I am playing Guns of Boom. I've been meaning to do this video for a while now. It's my first impressions kind of video. I actually played Guns of Boom a few years ago, so I had an existing account. But I only really, uh, really started playing it again a lot a week or two ago. So I figure I've had enough time in the game to, to kind of keep my impressions of it. It is, you know, it. it's pretty much all good. I was surprised. So I've been getting back into first-person shooter kind of games. I've been playing a lot of Shadow Gun Legends and then also Guns of Boom. I think this is because of uh, all the great games in the PC world. So you got like Apex Legends, Anthem, Destiny 2. I mean, there's just a lot of great first-person shooter kind of games that aren't all... Uh, that did have progression. So, in Guns of Boom, it's pretty much just kind of team versus team matches. There's no PvE. It's all just uh, these matches. And they are generally really fun. I mean, it's not too complicated. Uh, a person as slow as myself can still be effective. In this game, you know, I'm actually actually do really well and uh, help my team a lot for some reason. Just one of those mornings, I guess. The people who don't pay attention like that or something, but and it's uh there's a bunch of maps, so there there's a decent variety there. There's always different challenges. Most of the progression revolves around the weapons. So there's a ton of weapons, and you can upgrade them and do all sorts of stuff. You can you basically can upgrade them, and that that increases their power. One thing that I've noticed, which I'm not sure I'm a fan of, is there are clearly better weapons. So for each weapon type, like say assault rifles, you start out with uh, level one. Its max power is a lot lower than level two. Its max power is a lot lower in level 3, etc. Now, they do have different uh, aspects about them. So, it's not just uh, based off of power and cut and dry. So, for example, the light machine gun I started out with, with the uh, Miami Vice kind of skin, it has a perk that makes it better at close range, whereas... Uh, not the the other ones don't have that perk. So some do damage over time with like uh, fire damage after you shoot them with a stinger rifle. So each each weapon does have perks, but the power system kind of makes it seem like it's purely based on on power. But that's not the case. Like they have ranges, they have rate of fire. The sniper the sniper rifles are are pretty different in their speed or damage, things like that. So. There's still a lot of choices, which I love. I love choices in games. Games that really have no choices, I don't want to play. There's also the consumables. So those are the grenade and health pill I have. Now there's a whole bunch of other consumables. You can only have two at a time. And they're, they're all a little different, but they mainly base around health and damage. Although there's one that I just completed a challenge that gave me cryo grenades that freeze people. So you can choose to uh, slot those in. Now, I will say that these can be bought. You do get a pretty good su supply of free ones, like a free grenades and uh, health pills. So you should, you'll should you probably always have them. You still have to use them smartly, though. Like, if you just completely spam them, you're going to run out quick. So, But they, they can really turn the tide of a game, especially a grenade in your early levels when people don't have a huge amount of health or armor. A grenade will be uh, very useful. And then you can get like a rocket launcher, which plays a lot differently. That's how you can score those like triple kills. Although you can get triple kills without using one. So the gameplay loop is really, you know, you play these matches gain levels. They do have a battle pass they call a uh, battle career. Awesome. The more you play, the more cosmetic things you get, the more 
and you can also get the consumables. Oh, that guy with the Thanatos sniped me hard. But we still won. And I had a pretty good game there. What was I talking about? Oh, you could, they have a battle pass kind of thing. And daily challenges. So you upgrade your your weapons with the gun box. And then you they, they always throw these cases at you that you can get with the cosmetics in them. You can watch videos to get more stuff. Things seem reasonably priced. I mean, they're, they're, you can buy access to higher level weapons, but they do require a level. And, you know, there may be the case where people are losing on purpose to lower their level so they can uh, play more easily with the higher level weapons against lower level people. But, you know... I don't really care about that. I find, at least up until now, if you play smart, that you can uh, do pretty well. And that's a great thing about a game, is even with people with higher level weapons, they can kill you faster, but a well-placed grenade throw, and uh, you can pick up their weapon and start using it. So there are some mechanics that can help you out there. The update seemed to come pretty uh, pretty good in this game, so the Brazilian challenge just came out yesterday, which I did a video on. That uh, uh, is pretty cool. You get some themed gear, just more stuff to do, more stuff to acquire. Here we go. There's a well-placed grenade right there. <laughs> Two for one. And uh, like I said, one of them had a pretty a higher level weapon too, so now I have the higher level weapon. Now, will I make use of it? I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with them all yet. So overall, I'm, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. It is kind of my go-to for PvP at the moment. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think you should give it a try if you like games like Team Fortress 2, Paladins, maybe even Overwatch. You know, it's it's not very hardcore, Although they do have esports, so they do have a pro mode and tournament modes and things like that. So you apparently get pretty good. And if you really want to go esports on it, that path is available to you. Which I I, I have not had time to, to watch one yet. I'm still waiting to, for things to line up right so I, I can watch one to see what it's like. It, the idea of mobile esports fascinates me. Not for things like Clash Royale, but for shooters. Um, I just wonder how big the skill cap is. Could I compete in esports? I, I find that really hard to believe, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, helps uh, give you a good idea about how this game plays. Maybe I'll see you in it. Thanks a lot. See ya.